Kate here from the Happy Fabric Creative Experts. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a project that is perfect for all my fellow bookworms out there. I'm going to be creating a dust cover for a hardback book with fabric and vinyl. I came up with the idea for this project because I recently have read this amazing book, Fourth Wing. I bought obviously the hardcover version of the book but have noticed through reading it and taking it to and from work and getting it in and out of my bag, the dust cover for the book has become really quite damaged and sort of dogged. So what I wanted to do was create like a more permanent version of this using fabric and using vinyl. This project is super, super easy to do. It can be done by anyone with any kind of sewing ability. You also don't have to have a sewing machine to do this as well. So if you want to follow along and make this project, you are going to need some fabric, obviously. You're going to need a needle and thread or a sewing machine if you have one. Also going to need some heat transfer vinyl in whatever shade and finish you want. I'm really excited because I'm going to be using Happy Fabrics brand new happy twill vinyl which i'm so excited to show you because honestly it's the most beautiful vinyl i've ever seen so let's get to it so the first thing that i did was to take the dust cover off my book and measure it just so that i made sure that i had the right dimensions for the fabric dust cover I then added about 24 centimetres onto the length and about 4 centimetres onto the width of the measurements just to account for seam allowances and pockets and mark that out onto my fabric i cut that out and then it was time to get to sewing First of all, I'm going to turn over about a centimetre on both the short edges, iron them so that they stay flat and then sew them. I've done this on my sewing machine, but you could do this by hand as well. Now you want to place your fabric with the right side facing up and mark the new centre of the long edge. Then take your book and line up roughly the centre of the spine with this marking. You can then fold over the excess fabric to form a pocket and pin it in place. Then do the same thing on the other side. I would also recommend holding the book up while you do the second half because I found that it helps the dust cover fit better in the end. At this point, it's a good idea to close the book and just check that everything fits and looks right. I've then got some tailor's chalk to mark just outside where the book covers actually start and end. This is where we're going to sew and it's really important that you leave a little bit of room, otherwise your book won't be able to fit inside the pockets. Once you've sewed down those lines, either by sewing machine or by hand, you can clip off the corners of the excess fabric with some fabric scissors and turn the book cover inside out. I've then given everything an iron just so it lays nice and flat. And now it's time to put the book into its new jacket. I'm not going to lie at this point, I thought I'd made it too small, but it ended up being the perfect fit. I then took the dimensions of the cover and the spine so I could use these as templates in Cricut Design Space. This is the design I went for. I was really pleased with it. I wanted to emulate some of the patterns that were on the original dust cover, but also while making it doable in vinyl. I actually only had an A4 sheet of the vinyl that I was using, so I did have to break up the back cover design a bit to make it fit. Now, can we just have a moment for the vinyl that I'm using for today's project? This is Happy Fabrics brand new Happy Twill vinyl, and it's so shimmery. It's almost like fabric. It's kind of woven, and I thought it was absolutely perfect for this project. Just like any other HTV, you want to cut this with the shiny side down and with the mirror setting turned on. So if you want to use this vinyl, which you absolutely should, I would just recommend making sure that you're choosing the right design for this. I think my design was a little bit too intricate and I also am fairly sure that I didn't cut it on a high enough pressure setting. Because this is very similar to fabric, if the vinyl is not completely cut all the way through, it does have a tendency to fray. So as a result, I was having a little bit of trouble weeding this one. The design still came out absolutely stunning, but I think I would have had a lot easier of a time if I had been a little bit less ambitious with the design. Once the weeding was done, I marked out some guidelines on the dust cover so that I could make sure that I was positioning the vinyl in the correct areas. After a quick pre-press, I could start applying the designs. This vinyl applies at 160 degrees for 12 seconds. So I'm just using my Happy Press 4 here as I do with most other projects. Now it's time for the most satisfying part, which is peeling back the carrier sheet and revealing the beautiful vinyl underneath. I can't even tell you how stunning this vinyl is in person, especially once the carrier sheet is peeled off. All of the colours are just so beautiful and it really creates an effect that I've never seen before with vinyl. And that's the final book cover done. I'm really pleased with how this turned out. Despite the slight design hiccups, I think it turned out so stunning in the end and I really can't wait to use more Happy Twill and see what else I can create with it.